Hi Pierce students, my name is Mario and I'm one of the full-time librarians at the Pierce College Library. In this video we're going to be talking about textbooks. So for the fall semester of 2020, you might be wondering if the library has your textbook for your classes. First you want to identify which is the exact textbooks that your professors are asking and you usually find that information on your syllabus. Now let's say that we are looking for a book titled Your College Experience. You can come to the library's webpage, as you can see it now, and in our homepage we have this tool called OneSearch, which looks through most of our databases and our book catalog at the same time. So in this little search bar, you can just type the title of your textbook, and you don't have to mess with the attributes on the left side we all just keep it at everything and we're just going to click search once you do this one search opens up with this list of results so it looked for the keywords your college experience because that is the title of the textbook that we're looking for now as you can see the very first one has that title but it has the year 2015 so you want to make sure that you are certain which edition you need for your class. And sometimes your professors allow you to use an older edition. The second result, for example, has the year 2018. So that would be a little more recent than the very first one. And then I can see we have 2016 and 2011. But as you're looking at this, most of these results say available at LA Pierce College. So this tells me that they are print books. Now print books you would usually be able to check them out from the library but because the campus is closed we can only use ebooks at this time. So we're going to try to find a version of this textbook as an ebook. At this point I'm not really seeing one because I'm looking for one that says available online. And most of these just say available at. So, and then if I scroll down a little bit more, I now see journal articles, which is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to scroll back up and now I'm going to use the tools on the left hand side. Under resource type, I'm going to click on the books option. And then I'm going to click on online. So those are two limiters that I'm applying so that I can only see ebooks. And I'm going to click on apply filters at the bottom left hand corner. And hopefully I will be able to see if the library has a textbook that's an ebook titled Your College Experience. So I'm not really seeing one right now, right? The first result is titled going co-ed. The second result, what psychology majors could and should be doing. Dolly's college's experience. Nope, I do not see your college experience as an ebook. And once again, I know that these are ebooks because right at the bottom it says available online and it has that little chain icon. So at this point, if that was the textbook that you need for one of your classes, you might be out of luck, which is unfortunate and we feel bad about it too. But since the print copies of books are not available to you because the library is physically closed, even though we are digitally open, you would have to figure out if you can buy the textbook or rent it as a print or electronic version. Or you can also ask your professors if they have considered an open educational resource text, that is an OER. But that's a conversation that you should have with your professors. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted to triple check to see if we have this particular textbook you can always go to our databases. And if you open up databases A through Z, 
there is a way in which you can sort through all of our databases for just the databases that focus on ebooks. But one search is supposed to look through all of those ebook databases at the same time. So you don't really have to do this another time if you already looked through one search. So here you are seeing the full list of our databases. But since I'm looking for the databases that only focus on ebooks, I'm going to click on database types and I'm going to scroll down to ebooks and I can see that there are four databases that focus on that. And from here, I can tell you that the best ones for academic books are going to be ebook central and EBSCO ebooks, which is why you see that popular tag right next to them. But like I said, if your textbook was your college experience, one search didn't seem to find it, even when I apply the filters of books and online. So let's double check, however, that that is the correct version. I'm going to go to the library's homepage and I know that we have this banner about the bookstore right here. And if you click on it, you're going to open up their website, which is lapiercecollegestore.com. Now the bookstore's website is different from the library's website and you can see it right here. So if I wanted to double check that my textbook, your college experience is the right one for my class, um, I'm going to search for that title. And then I can see that your college experience is carried in the bookstore for about 80 to 110 dollars. So I clicked on the title and it does say that the bookstore has it. And now I can see all the other classes that are requesting this book for that course, such as Counseling 40. And I guess it's mainly Counseling 40. <laughs> but there you go. If you wanted to talk to the staff at the bookstore, you can do that on their homepage. They have a virtual chat service or you can always call them. But in this website through the bookstore, you could also rent an ebook version or buy an electronic version of that textbook. So I'm going to show you by scrolling down a little bit. You see where it says to search digital content, piercecollege.redshelf.com. So this is the website that the bookstore is using as a partner with a third party vendor called Redshelf. So you could buy your textbooks assuming that they have them in this website. So once again, I'm going to search for your college experience. And at this point, I will be able to see how much I can buy it or rent a copy of this textbook. And once again, let's go back to the bookstore's homepage because we didn't really double check the edition of our textbook, right? But let's see what it came up with. My Wi-Fi is a little slow. And let's see. Oh, yeah, right here. The book's information. It says copyright 18. So publication year of 2018. But I would go by the edition number. So in this case, it says edition 13, which may be copyrighted in 2018 or 2017 or 2019. Sometimes the copyright year varies. So you always want to keep an eye on the edition number. And of course, at this point, I would ask your professor, if you were in this class, if you could use edition 12 or edition 13, which might be cheaper, right? But let's go back to our Red Shelf page. And I had typed your college experience. And see, the second result seems to be it. 46 cents, that's probably an ebook. Um, this one is concise version, $35. And then these other books are not exactly titled your college experience. Oh, this one is 
$38. I don't see the edition number, but I recognize the cover of that textbook, which makes me feel that that's the edition that my professor is using. But you do not want to base it off the memory of the cover because sometimes the covers vary especially across editions but I'm going to pull that aside to inspect that record and I'm also going to go up here to the one that said 46 cents because I'm curious what that one is and then this one the concise edition I don't think that was the edition that the counseling 40 class was asking for but we'll open it up just to double check so now we are looking at the book that I had recognized the cover for and Red Shelf tells me that it is the 13th edition now I can see that for sure and on the right hand side I can see my options I can either rent it for $38 or $43 for a longer period of time. So this is just renting. How would I buy it from? Let's see. Item has been added to your card. I'm gonna go to my card because I, at this point I couldn't tell if that was to rent or to buy it. 